many, or probably most of you. Uh, I'm a kite surfer from the southeast of Kent. I've been kite surfing around 20 years now. Uh, I've run a kite school there called Tidewater Sports. And uh, at, at the minute, I'm in France. I've just spent Christmas with my partner's family and my daughter. Uh, really, really nice time. Uh, but now my partner's brother and I are on a mission to a place called Cayo Sur Probably not the right pronunciation for my French is not great. Uh, but yeah, we're on our way there now. We're about 40 minutes out and the forecast is looking really, really good. So I think it's averaging around 30, 30 knots and gusting up to like 45, maybe 50 later on in the day. Uh, so we've got left foot kickers there. Uh, the tide should be quite low, which should should be good to clean up the waves nicely. But again, it's, it's a new spot for me. I've, I've never been uh, this far into France. Normally I just go to Wissant. Uh, but it's looking really nice. I'm really looking forward to the session. Uh, I've been out of action for a while actually, so I, I injured my ankle. Um, I twisted it while uh, surfing on some waves with a kite. Uh, just rolled my ankle and then sort of tore two ligaments so, so we've been getting that back into strength but it's just about ready now so ready to take it out and test it in some strong winds I guess. Probably not the best uh, way to test it but that's what's happening. I'm not, I'm not a sponsored rider, I'm, I'm not like a, attached to any brands or anything like that so I, I just do these videos for fun, it's, it's, it's just a thing that I like doing. Uh, so if you enjoy them as well, please uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, give us a like and, and, and let me know what you think in the comments, it would be really appreciated. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll update you on the spot when we get there. Um, yeah. Woo! Got to the spot it looks awesome out there really nice waves super windy cross on shore uh, it's meant to pick up as well as the day goes on so let's go and check out the spot see what it's like
session the session really didn't go as planned uh, as, as soon as I went out and hit the first kicker for the first jump coming back from an ankle injury from nearly two months off I landed in some white water got dragged forward towards the kite um, probably should have put in a heli loop to sort of try and land a bit more forward but uh, the kite fell and stalled landed in the middle of the power zone and powered right up snapping the two front lines and then uh, the steering line luckily enough one of the steering lines stayed intact and I was able to recover the kite um, after this I just went straight in got another bar on lines and, and headed straight out to try and recover the session because I really wanted to make the most of it I, I traveled for about an hour and 40 minutes uh, to get to this spot and, um, and you know it was my first session back I was I was expecting a lot more from it, but I uh, still really enjoyed it as it as it went on. Um, in the middle of the session, there was there was a really big squall that came through with super gusty winds and uh, a bit dangerous. Uh, turned the kite inside out at one point, but um, I, was man I managed to sort of recover that as well. Obviously, I would have liked the session to go a bit better and not have snapped any lines. That would have been a major bonus, but uh, it is what it is. I had a good session at the end of it and really enjoyed my time at the spot. Um, the spot has some amazing potential, especially uh, near the big estuary. There's a lovely flat water spot over there and really nice left foot kickers on that southwesterly wind. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to going back to that place. Uh, but for now, I'm heading back to the UK after a lovely Christmas with uh, family. And I'm looking forward to riding with some friends with my ankle feeling a lot better. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll get some footage of that, post it up on here, and I'll uh, see you there for the next one. Thanks again for watching.